Welcome. Today we're going to go through some of the areas of Profit Track that you may not know about. So the first one we're going to go through is that you can send messages to the point of sale. So to do that in Profit Track, click on the Tools tab, then Pos Lanes. Here you'll get the YT or whatever your store name is, main register group show up. Right click on that line and you can send messages to Pos Lanes. And you can either choose to do this now or later. I'm going to do this now and go, please confirm specials are activated and add. And what you'll notice on our POS, straight away we get this little icon here flashing where it's come up saying it's effective now and my message. At this point, I can confirm the message and off it goes. And that would happen to all the registers. If you double click on this, you can see all the registers it's currently communicating to. For me, that's the YT POS, which is the one you can see in the background there. And there we go. The next one is in shop and most search screens. So in here, you've got the key binds. So you've got search in the top left, but you can also press F3, which will bring up your product screen. But if you press F3 again, it will go to this box for you to retype. So you don't even need to take your fingers onto the keyboard to start typing a product until you've done that. It saves you from moving the mouse at all. It just helps you speed up a little bit. So the next one is the difference between a dot dot search and a space search. So I was using the premium brush, which is a car wash in this system. So if I was to search premium dot dot brush, I'll get two responses, which are those two there. However, if I search space brush, I get 11. So the difference is if I use a dot dot search, it's premium and brush will be shown. So I'll demonstrate that really quick. So all of these, or the two of these, have premium and brush in their name. However, when I do a space search like this, it will show me anything with premium or brush in its name. So we got Donut Premium there. And we have things like the Spa Brush here. So that's an and or. So dot dot for and, space for or. And the last one we're going to go through is EJ Viewer. So EJ Viewer is a transactional view. So if we go comms, EJ Viewer, search. I'm going to search just everything from today. I will show you this screen in a second though. So here you can see all the transactions that I did. I know these are very, very odd looking transactions. I did these automatically through the system. But if I double click on any of these, it'll give me a breakdown of all the products that were scanned and it will also show me how it was cached. Now, if I cancel this and go back to this screen, I can refine my search. So at the moment, it's just going Give me the sale details on everything today, on any clerk and any register. I've only got one clerk, I've only got one register, so for me that's very limited. In any case, if I have a specific PLU that I'm trying to look for, I can type it in there. If I'm going through all the tenders done instead, I can go, okay, show me all the FPOS tenders done by X clerk on X register, and you can start breaking it down if you need to find specific things on a shift. This will also, also show you functions. So this will show you if there's any cancels, error corrects, no sales, end days, end shifts. And for the fuel sites that watch this, this will also cover your meter readings, dips, so on, so on. Now, this screen by default only holds 90 days worth of data. If you've changed your purge settings, that could be more or less, but by default, 90 days. Now in here, you can open any of these and print, and it will print the receipt, and that will print to a full page receipt. So if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like the keyboard that you saw me using in the background, which was the new keyboard for the point of sale, please give our professional services team a call and I'll see you next time.